quick video demonstration of the new AINR 2016 features in XP Swim and XP Storm 2017.2. We're very excited by this new release and hope that it will be one of the easiest ways to adopt the new AINR 2016 guidance. You'll note that you can install the new version alongside previous installations of the software. Just make sure that you back up your data before using the new version. So jumping into the interface, if I go to the global storms list, you'll see we've got a new ensemble names feature. And this lets you group your storms and run results on that set of ensembles. We have a new storm generator tool and opening this shows a list of all of the data that we've generated in the history of this particular project. It, we can generate a new set of design storms here, going to the ARNR data section and then selecting our location on the Australia map. So I'll just select a location down in Sydney and acknowledge the conditions of the BOM website and then download. And you can see as quickly as that we've downloaded the data from both the ARNR Data Hub and the BOM IFT website automatically. I'll click OK and you can see that those APs and durations have been populated on the left. You can select the ones that you would like. I'll just choose the 1% and select a few durations for my particular model. And you can also select storm names, add your area reduction factors for particularly large sites and preverse conditions. So when we generate a summary report, we can see that we're also importing the infiltration data from the ARNR Data Hub and all of the global storms that we're importing will be populated in this summary file. If I click OK, it creates a arnr.zip file, which is the repository of all of that data saved up in an archive for us. I can go back and edit that and change it if I've made a mistake. And you'll note that when I do that, it creates a new file. Make sure that I'm not overriding the previous data that was there. So I'll just delete that one for now and import this new database. So this new feature here will allow you to quickly swap storms in and out of the software by replacing all of your global storms. And you'll see that I've now populated my list of global storms in the global storm list. So as simply as that, I have now imported ANR 2016 rainfall and I'm going to solve this model that has already been set up by using our new solve manager feature. Okay, so I've just finished solving and you can see that when we go into review results, you have quite a lot of data and you can now break this down into ensembles. So you can see the 10 individual storms of your AEP duration set. But what you really need is some statistics. So in order to do that, we need to load the results files so that we can run those statistics. So you go to results, reload 1D results, and then you load those. And once that's done, you can click our new Ensemble Statistics Utility in the toolbar and you'll be presented with results for both the hydrology and the hydraulics layer with variables and all the objects available to you. You can click your box and whisker plot tool and this will give you a nice visualisation of that data and you can tick on a few options and display your critical durations as you need. You can also output this for your final engineering report. And that's all of the ARNR 2016 features. We hope you enjoy using this new version as much as we have making it. And if you need any more assistance with the latest 2017.2 version, please don't hesitate to get in contact with us.